I'm gonna do like a spend some quality time by myself today. I'm gonna go to Barnes & Noble, gonna go get some breakfast, and then probably do some different things for YouTube and Instagram there, read a little bit, and then I'm gonna go browse, probably buy some new books, and go to lunch, and then get my nails done. It is currently 10.49, so it's a little late to start my day, but whatever, I wanted to sleep in since I have today off. And I'm gonna pack my bag right now, so I'm gonna show you guys what I am bringing with me to Barnes & Noble. So this is the bag I'm gonna use. I'm just using the terry cloth bag from Zara. It looks like this. I think it's cute. I have like my basic stuff in here already, kind of like chargers, glasses. I'll show you other things that I'm bringing. My laptop and my laptop case. And then I have my current read. I'm currently reading Lovers Like Us by Kristen Beckerucci. I am almost done with it, so my plan is to finish it there. And then I'm also bringing some annotating tools, just my tabs, and then pen and a highlighter. And then I'm just keeping all of my things in this book sleeve that I got from the bookish bar. Everything fits in here nicely, and it just protects my book. I don't want it to get ruined. And everything's in here and ready for me to go. I'm gonna go drive to Barnes and Noble now. I am listening to an audiobook while I get there. Let me pause it really quick. I'm on chapter 32 of The Most Valuable Playboy by Lauren Blakely. Shout out to Logan for the recommendation. If you guys are looking for good audiobooks, make sure to check out her Instagram. She has a bunch of different recommendations for audiobooks and I will listen to everything she recommends. I'm at Barnes and Noble. I got a caramel macchiato and then I've got a chocolate croissant and I'm gonna read for a little bit and then edit probably. I just finished at Barnes & Noble. I didn't really film while I was there because I felt really awkward because the whole romance section was kind of out in the open. I didn't really want to have my camera out, but I did buy one book. I bought Automatic Millionaire by David Bach or Batch or something. I know this isn't what I usually read, but recently it's been a goal of mine to read something every month that I feel like is going to help me in a way. And I think this is great for like personal growth and just my finances in general. I'm going to start like a big girl job soon. So I definitely want to do something with my money. There's also another book that I'm probably gonna pick up but they didn't have in stock at Barnes and Noble so I'm probably just gonna buy it on Amazon. There was a hardcover version but it was like 30 bucks and I don't wanna spend that much money. That is my little Barnes and Noble haul. So now I'm gonna go home. I have a couple packages that I need to pack, go to the post office and then I'm going to go get my nails done. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet but this is what my nails currently look like right now. I wanna do color but I feel like I'm just gonna do black French tips so We'll see. But so far, I've had a lot of fun I'm hanging out by myself. I almost finished my book. I'm very excited to finish that later today when I get home. Here's a little before. I'm getting my nails done right now. I also just finished the audiobook Most Valuable Playboy. I gave it four out of five stars. I'm now starting the Copper Smith Farmhouse series by Devony Perry. I'm listening to that on audio. Again, shout out to Logan. I'm my nails done right now and probably go to Panera after this. So these are the nails. I just got a plain lavender purple tip. I really like them. It is almost four o'clock now. I haven't eaten lunch. The last thing I ate was when I was at Starbucks, which is at like almost 12 p.m. I'm starving. I'm gonna go to the post office, drop off some packages, and then I'm gonna go to Panera and read there for a little bit and just hang out. But I love my nails. I think they're so pretty, perfect for the spring. I made it to Panera and I'm starving. 
I got a strawberry banana smoothie, he roasted turkey and avocado BLT, some chips, and then broccoli and cheddar soup. And I'm going to read my book for a little bit. So my plan is, I think I'm gonna try to finish this book here. I'm gonna finish my chips, finish my smoothie, and then if I'm filling it, maybe buy a cookie or something. I'm on page 319. I have less than 100 pages to go. I'm very excited to see where this book goes. And I'm excited to get to Alpha's Like Us next because I just think with the way everything's developing in the series, I feel like I'm gonna be so invested. So I'm very excited to finish this. content than we did compared to the first book which I really like. We're getting more of Beckett and Charlie and Sully and Audrey and then we got a little bit more of Luna and Xander which is nice too. I just love seeing all the cousins and like all of like their little personality traits and then just seeing what makes them them and seeing the differences between like the Hales, the Cobalts, and the Meadows. This family just has my heart. I just got to part with Charlie and Moppy, and I am really rooting for friendship here. I love them together, and my heart just goes out to Charlie. I really feel for him. I love them so much, and this whole scene, I feel like the best part in the book so far. So I'm in my car now. I'm gonna go home, because I'm gonna FaceTime my friends. I did get something in my PO box today, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I'm gonna do like a little unboxing thing right now. But I got this from Fallon Ballard. I don't know what this is. So I got Lease on Love by Fallon Ballard. Oh, oh this is cute. So it came with a little bookmark and then I don't know what these are, but I think I'm gonna use them as like prop in photos and then like a bookmark or something. That's pretty cute. Thank you so much for the book. I'm very excited to read this because I've seen this being posted on TikTok and Bookstagram. I am home now and I came home to some really great book mail. First, I can't believe I got this. Someone sent me The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata. This is from Ishani. She said, happy birthday, babes. I love you so much. And I wanted to send you one of my favorite books for your birthday. I hope you loved it as much as I do. XO, love Ishani. Thank you so much. I am so excited to read this. She is so thick. Thank you so much, Ishani. Love you. I also got Ruthless Kings by Laura Lee. This is from my bestie, Kimmy. Kimmy said, happy belated birthday, love. I hope you had an amazing day from Kimmy. Thank you, Kimmy. I love you. And then I also got All Into Me by Mila Gray. This is from Christina. Christina said, happy late birthday, Jazz. I love you so much. Thankful for your friendship. I love talking books and miraculous with you always. Hope to meet you sometime soon when you come back to California from Christina. I have all the books now, so I'm going to binge the series. And with that said, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. That is a day spending quality time with myself. I feel like sometimes people think that it's weird to spend time with yourself or do things by yourself, but I personally really enjoyed today. I had a lot of fun by myself, and I think I'm just happy that I feel secure, like going out to eat by myself or going to the bookstore by myself or just spending time by myself doing things that I enjoy. Today was a really fun day. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video.